Hello friends, in this video we will see how to construct sequence diagram for an ATM system. The tool that we are going to use is Visual Paradigm that's an online tool and available free of cost for non-commercial use. You can easily sign up with your Google account and use this tool for free of cost and you can construct any number of diagrams with this tool. From dashboard you have other options available with you also you can construct greeting cards brochures templates etc but from diagram you will get the options for the uml diagram and for this we are going to choose the blank sequence diagram and if you choose for the template then you are going to get a lot of templates available with you for the sequence diagram and you can choose from choose from them you can also edit them according to your requirement but for learning you must choose the blank document always and here is the interface for the sequence diagram so let's start so these are the tools so first is your lifeline message and this is your reply message response message this is duration create message where we are creating the object on the execution of a particular message self messaging we have this is recursive message lost found end message and we have the fragments like alt option reference sd this is our actor and these are the constraint dependency etc so let's start but first of all if you are not aware about these notations means why we use them what is the purpose of these notation then you must watch the earlier video where we had a detailed description of these notations with example so let's start here the first lifeline we require for the client because first is our client and client is bank client so we are taking it as bank client you can simply drag the lifeline and next entity we require is i have simply copy and uh, copy paste it for next entity as a atm machine so next is our atm machine now let's start we are not considering the case where atm machine is welcoming the client with a message so we are exempting all those initial cases where client is inserting the card atm is asking for the pin etc we are just moving to the withdrawal transaction so we are dealing with only the sequence of messages uh, that that, uh, that we have for the withdrawal transaction only so the atm machine is sending a message to the client and this is a message simple message by asking for the transaction or so it is requesting for the transaction request transaction now in response the client is replying with the response message response transaction by entering the transaction so this is this message is second in the sequence enter transaction next we have after entering the transaction where the client has chosen the withdrawal option here we are not mentioning because we are only labeling the arrows with the function name because it is requesting the transaction and client is entering the transaction the enter transaction can be any transaction like deposit transfer or withdrawal so here the client has entered the withdrawal transaction but we are labeling them the response with the message name okay function to be executed so here these lifeline are representing that on execution of this message the particular object is getting active so these lifelines are inactive initially but on the execution of these messages that we are displaying with arrows or response message or or the simple message so on activation or execution of these messages these entities are getting active next we have the bank entity requesting for the client for the amount means the amount the client want to withdraw so this is the third message in the sequence request for the amount and the client is replying by entering the amount the client wants to withdraw 
and this message is fourth in the sequence as enter the amount so client has entered the amount here but we are labeling the arrow with the message name only only with the message name so the client has entered the amount you can reposition your text by selecting and simply using arrow button or you can use this orange dot to reposition your message next we have after the client has entered the amount the atm machine is forwarding the request to another object of the account class so here we have another lifeline for the account because everything is checked from the account accessed from the account and this message is labeled as process transaction and this is fifth in the sequence process transaction process the transaction now the account class on behalf of atm machine is further forwarding the request for checking the account so here the request is forwarded to another entity that is your account checking where the checking is performed whether the account is having sufficient balance or not if the account is not having sufficient balance then the transaction must be failed okay or the error must be displayed on the screen now after checking this entity is replying to the account if the withdrawal is done or if the withdrawal is successful or failed so here firstly label this message as sixth in the sequence and it is requesting for the withdrawal now the account checking entity is replying whether the withdrawal operation is successful or not and this is the seventh message in the sequence done these all are functions these all are functions uh, so on the execution of these function the account is getting active now account in response or after getting this response is forwarding the response to atm machine that the transaction or the uh, request to process the withdrawal transaction is successful so this message is eighth in the sequence transaction done okay now the atm machine after this the transaction is successfully processed now the atm machine is responsible to dispense the cash and display the mes message to the client that the client should take the cash and the atm machine is responsible for generating the balance slip okay so here the atm machine is forwarding the message to the client and the message is that the cash dispense next again the atm machine is sending the message to the client to take the cash so after the cash is dispensed by the atm machine now the atm machine is requesting the client to take the cash so this message is 10th in the sequence next we have after the cash is taken by the client atm machine is again requesting the client whether he or she wants to continue with the next transaction or not so it is the 11th message in the sequence where the atm machine is requesting for the continuation means whether the client wants to process ne next transaction next transaction can be withdrawal again or can be deposit or can be a balancing query whether the client wants to perform a next transaction with atm machine or not so this is 11th message in the sequence and after that if the it, it is the time for the client to respond so atm machine has sent three messages now the bank client is responding that he wants to terminate the transaction client may also choose to uh, 
choose with the next transaction but this time the client has chosen the terminate option next after the terminate option is chosen by the client now the atm machine is responsible to generate and print we can say that the balance slip so here we have the print reset function for execution so this is the complete diagram for the C, uh, for the atm transaction but here we have not considered the difficult cases we have created the simple transactions for this video and you can save this diagram by renaming it so here we are renaming it to sequence diagram for atm just rename it and you can also save it with your vp account or your google drive so i am choosing the vp account this document is saved in my documents and next time i can use this for reference and i, I can also edit this document now next is the time to export this diagram you can download this diagram in the form of jpeg png svg or any other form and you can also save it as pdf so i am going to save it as pdf file you can also save it to your google drive but here i am downloading it to my local drive so the diagram is downloaded and this is the final output here you can see all the messages are clearly shown in this diagram without any overlapping of a message and the text so this is complete diagram that you can simply crop or you can uh, use for your projects and here please note one thing you can also merge these activation bar so these activation bars can be merged if they are part of the same sequence you can merge these activation bars and you should merge okay because we have synchronous message means if we are getting a message in response to another message that means we are in one activation mode or you can simply drag one activation bar over another to merge it like this you can also merge these activation bars so that's it for this video see you in the next video till then bye and take care